What a magnum amazing day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Leo Williams, and today is Wednesday, 5-22-2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was God forgives, and you should too. See, when we look in the mirror, we see our own worst enemy, ourselves. We may easily forgive someone for something that happened, but do we forgive ourselves? Many of us have done things we are not proud of, and we have been dragging those situations, those mistakes, and burdens around for years. However, we are still walking around with and in self-unforgiveness. It is a requirement. Matthew 6, 14 through 15 says, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. But if you refuse to forgive others, your father will not forgive your sins. What if you hurt someone in the process of a wrong and you have yet to forgive yourself? What if you stood before God and he said, your entry into heaven is denied because of all the things that you did and forgave, you never forgave yourself. Today, I stop by to tell you that God, our Father in heaven, whose Son is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, wants to forgive. God forgives, and you should too. 1 John 1 9 says, But if we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. See, confession frees us to have fellowship with Christ. It should ease our conscience, take away our shame, and lighten our burden of guilt. You may have been living a decent life, walking with the Lord, and every evening your burden of a sin that happened in high school 30 years ago that you have still not forgiven yourself for. God forgives and you should too. Psalms 32, one through three says, oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose records the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sins, my body wasted away and I groaned all day long. Forgiveness has always been a part of God's nature. He announced it to Moses. He revealed it to David and has shown the world through Jesus for many generations. God forgives. We just have to do our part with a repentant, sincere, and humble heart. Stop beating yourself up over your sibling getting hurt. Everything happens for a reason, by God's design, for the good and will of God's kingdom, and ultimately for God to get the glory. God forgives, and you should too. Romans 4, 5 says, but people are counted as righteous, not because of their works, but because of their faith in God, who forgives sinners. God forgives, and you should too. We are all sinners and fall short. Do not allow your sins to be unforgiven because you are walking around in self-unforgiveness. God forgives, and you should too. Ephesians 1, 7 says, He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son, and forgave our sins. See, when forgiveness is granted, it is through the blood of Jesus. We can walk with our heads held high, confidently and boldly, ready to do the Lord's work. You might have been high, drunk, or flat out mean, and you robbed someone, and during the course of the robbery, you beat that person to death. It was a life-altering event for many family members. You did your time in prison. You paid your dues. Have you repented and asked the Lord for forgiveness? 
God will not torture you by sending that person's ghost to hunt you once you have repented of your sins and sought his forgiveness and then forgiving yourself as well. God forgives and you should too. Luke 7 47 says, I tell you her sins and they are many have been forgiven. She has shown me much love, but a person who is forgiven little shows only little love. Then Jesus said to the woman, your sins are forgiven. The men at the table said among themselves, who is this man that he goes around forgiving sins? Do you believe that Jesus, the son of God, that God is love? Just the sure fact that I stand here talking to you today and you are able to see and hear me this morning says that God has forgiven us and loves us because the wages of sin is death. The death is definitely spiritual and sometimes physical together. However, God's grace and mercy that we have a chance to repent and seek God's forgiveness. God forgives and you should too. You might have been 17 years old with a fresh driver's license and had an accident and killed your best friend in the process and it has haunted you for years. God forgives and you should too. You may have a you may have been a heavy drinker and left the club and your friends tried to stop you, but you fought them and drove anyway. Not far from the club the scene of an accident where you hit an elderly couple ending their life. You are in jail or did years in jail, but it has been bothering you. God forgives and you should too. You stopped much of your communication with someone you raised for more than 13 years, starting when they were three or four years old. You walked away from your children due to the agony of the other person just not wanting to deal with that situation. And when their chips were down and they had no one to talk to, they committed suicide in their early 20s. God forgives and you should too. Whatever your situation is, whatever your sin has been, give it to God, repent of your sins, seek forgiveness, forgive yourself, which is harder for us to do. But God knew what you would do in advance. And that is why he sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins, giving us an opportunity to seek salvation through his words of wisdom, the Bible. Call your situation God's design to draw you closer to him. You just have to make the choice to be obedient and come to Jesus today. God forgives and you should too. Acts 2, 38 through 39 says, Peter replied, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the promise to you, your children, and to those far away, all who have been called by the Lord our God. Acts 3.20 says, Then times of refreshment will come from the presence of the Lord, and he will again send you Jesus, your appointed Messiah. Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you with love, thanks, and appreciation in my heart and flowing from my lips, giving you the highest praise, honor, and glory for your forgiveness, for your forgiving us in advance of our actions that have burdened us for years. Eternal Father, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice will understand and receive your power, your spirit, your strength to forgive themselves for whatever they have been harboring in their hearts. Lord, help us to accept the responsibility of our actions 
and give us the strength to deal with the consequences while seeking you first in all of our ways. Life through forgiveness as you grant us the wisdom to learn from our mistakes. God forgives and you should too. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day and leave a legacy seeking forgiveness from God and forgiving yourself. Picking up our own cross daily and following Jesus. The way, the truth, and the life. Because no one can come to God, our Father, except through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God forgives and you should too. Our purpose is your blessing. God bless.